Hi there, I'm Melo from RunningExpert.com and I'm here with my great colleague, Emil. Thank you. And we also brought a very special guest, the new Garmin Forerunner 255. The 255 is the update of the very, very popular uh, Garmin Forerunner 245. The 255 comes in four versions. The 245 came in two versions. The, two, the Garmin Forerunner 255, the Garmin Forerunner 255 Music, the Garmin Forerunner 255S and the Garmin Forerunner 255S Music. There is no difference between the 255 and the 255S. Other than the size. Yeah. Yeah, the size is smaller on the 255S. There you go. I don't know why I always have so difficult saying that. No. In this video, we will go through all the new updates there is on the 255 and we'll also walk you, walk you through the interface on the watch. This is a very, very nice watch which covers almost every need there is for Runner. Um, it has all the need to have and it also has a lot of nice to have. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Should we start walking through all the new updates? Yes. So, Emil. The first thing I would like to tell me about is that in this watch there is what they, what Garmin calls multi-band GPS. What yes. is that? Um, we already know uh, that you can have m more GPS units uh, yeah. for your watch. You can have GPS, GLONASS, all the different kinds of, of GPS systems. Yeah. The new thing with the multi-band is that it can connect to multiple systems at once. Before, it was only one system at a time. Mm. And now, with with multiple systems at one time, you can have more precise, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so the new thing is that it can connect to different systems at the same time and uh, give you more precise data. Yeah. Uh, faster, accurate. Accurate data. accurate data and fast uh, GPS signals. Exactly. Is that something you, should, you have to set up, or is it just on the watch? Uh, it's on the watch, and you just go to your run, and then you go to um, to settings. So you go through your settings in here, mm -hmm. and you go to GPS, all systems, and then you put on all systems plus multi-band. Simple as that. Yes. And then it connects to different systems at the same time. Exactly. Nice. The next thing is the daily suggested workouts. We know that from other uh, Garmin watches, but can you tell me about what is daily suggested workouts? Daily suggested workouts is you, you go to run and then it gives you today's suggestion. Okay. So I, should, I'm, I have to run uh, 42 minutes at a pace in 4.15 yes. per kilometer. And that is your base run. That, that's that's a, yeah. Okay. Um, and we will dig into that uh, a little bit later in the, in the next uh, thing we have to, uh, the next update. But this uh, is, when you don't know anything about it, you might think, why do you suggest this yes. for me? Uh, and Garmin, uh, in the previous versions uh, of uh, daily suggested workouts and on other watches, has suggested this as um, a way for you just to get in the best shape, the best view to max shape. Yes. At the, sh at the minimal uh, required tw training. Yeah. But now with this watch, um, you can put in goals. Uh, and that's the, the, next. the next thing, the race widget. Exactly. Yes. And then you can, you can put in, in your calendar on your Garmin Connect app, mm -hmm. you, you can put in races. Okay. Um, and I've put in two races. Yeah. I've put in, in my race calendar, I've put in a Copenhagen half marathon yeah. in September and the Frankfurt Minova Marathon in October. Yes. And I've also said that the marathon is my primary goal. Okay, it, it can be uh, different yes, it, it, between it, that. It looks at uh, if you can have even more races in, and then you just say, this is my primary goal, and then it, it, uh, puts, your, it, yeah, it puts your training up for that. Goal. Okay. But it also, uh, it, it tapers you Mm. A little bit for for your other yeah. smaller goals. So so now the daily suggested workouts uh, uh, is no longer just for you to be in the best shape with uh, as little uh, time time as and possible. training as possible. Now no. it's to be in the best shape for the Frankfurt uh, Marathon exactly. in October. Exactly. Exactly. You can you can see here. This is my daily suggestion for today. And yeah. then you can see tomorrow. And then you can scroll down. This is 
all, all week, what I'm going to do all week. And you can go to plan overview. Yes. There you can see that right now I'm in a base uh, phase. Yes. Which lays the foundation and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And then I'm going to a build phase. And then I have my peak phase and my taper phase and the marathon and then a recovery phase. Yes. And that's because I've put in this as my primary goal. Do you give the watch the data of how many times you run a week and uh, watch? Ex actually not. I think I think it, it took it out of, I've had my Phoenix watch for a while and then it, it looks at what shape I'm in right now, mm -hmm. what my uh, former PBs are and, and stuff like that. Okay. And then it, it puts together a, a plan and great. From I think what I've just seen, it, it, it looks it looks pretty yeah, pretty solid. I think it's a very very nice uh, add-on for the, for this watch. Uh, I, I I'm a little bit annoyed sometimes of the daily suggested workouts because I'm like, you you want me to do this this every time. And tomorrow I'm gonna run. Yeah, I'm gonna run a hard training, and yeah. then you're going to go yeah. put me through. So so it, so it don't work together with my plans, but it does now, and that's yes. very very nice. And you can actually go go in and, and say. My my week is like this, so I want to have my long runs on a Wednesday yeah, because okay. I, I, I don't yeah. work on Wednesday or something like that. Nice. Minus Saturday and Sunday, like most people. Yes. Let's stay to the subject. The next update is the uh, training status. Yes. Training status. What is that? Uh, training status is right here. Mm -hmm. uh, it tells you what your status is yeah. when you're training. How uh, are you Are you doing too much work? Are you doing the right mm. work? Um, and you can see here, uh, it says that uh, my VO2 max is steady and uh, my acute load is optimal. Nice. So right now, you're doing working, it right. I'm doing it right, <laughs> apparently, yeah. somehow, yeah. I'm doing it right. And you can see, I'm actually on, on the lower side of, yeah. of what is optimal for me, um, but yeah. The, I love this very much because it tells me if I'm doing the right amount of anaerobic and aerobic uh, workouts. Exactly. Yeah, I tend to do two uh, little, a little bit less uh, anaerobic uh, workouts, and I think many people do. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm in the the blue section and in the yellow section, yes. but never in the in the purple section. And it would be a very, very good idea for more people to to get in, yeah. do some anaerobic yeah. work, because it really helps you get yeah. faster. And all Garmin tries to do is to make you in better shape and to run better and faster. And so you can uh, have more great experiences yeah, yeah. running. Exactly. The next uh, update to this watch, uh, I think many uh, triathletes will love this, is the um, full multi-sport function. Exactly. Tell me about that. What is multi-sport function? This is not a new function. No. It... But this is a new function for a 255. Yes. Because before, you've only been able to, to do one activity at a time. Yeah. But with this watch, you can do triathlon. So you have one activity for the three activities. So you just, when I'm, walk, when I'm running the intervals, I'm, uh, I, I press this button when I want to, uh, to lap. Yes. So now you can press a button and then it understands that I'm not running anymore, I'm, uh, I'm, or I'm not swimming anymore, yeah. I'm cycling. So, so you can get your times for the, for the swim, for mm. the change zone, yeah. and for the bike, and for the change zone again. Okay. So, so, and, can, and for the run. Yes. <laughs> is, it possible to, is it possible to change this if I'm at a biathlon, for yeah. example? Yes. And, and also if you're doing adventure races yeah. or something like that. Okay. You can change it up for, for whatever. It has, uh, it has the, the functions to do Very, so. very nice function. The next function is, uh, again, not a new function for Garmin, but for the Forerunner 255, it's a new function. It's Garmin Pay. Yes. I think I really missed in the 245. I love Garmin Pay. You you might not think that it's something you need, no. but when you have it, it's really, <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Um, you just go in here, Yeah. in your dials, and then you have a lot of different stuff. Yes. And one of them is your wallet. You press that, you enter your code, bling, ready yes. to So pay. It, it makes it possible to pay with your watch. Exactly. Your, your uh, card information are on the watch and you exactly. can just use that. That is very nice. And if you don't want uh, know how to set up a Garmin Pay, I will put a link in description on how to do that. Uh, we have a great article for that. The next thing we should dig into is running power. Emil, what is running power? 
Running power, um, it's it's a way of training. Mm. Instead of running uh, by your pulse or by your pace as a as a marker of how how you're doing things, mm -hmm. you you go in uh, to your run, you you set it up uh, on one of your screens that you would like to have it by um, power, and then you get you get a number in watts. Yeah. So that's how hard you're running, not by your heart rate, mm. but but by watts. Yes. So what it's doing is it's it's looking at are you running on a flat road? Yeah. Are you running uphill? Are you running yeah. downhill? So you you get a more uh, equal um, yeah estimate of, of how hard you're running. And for long long time we have seen seen uh, people cycling using watts. Exactly. Um, and that is very very uh, that's a very cr clever way to to do. It. Because they are they are cycling uh, up a hill and downhill and and on a flat road and um, sometimes their pulse is very high when they are, uh, are climbing the mountains. Exactly, and you and you can't always use pulse as a as a no. as a measurement of your training because if you have taken a lot of caffeine or uh, other stuff, your pulse might mm. go up, or if it's uh, late night or early yeah. morning, your pulse might be different than than. Always, but if you do, if you train by power, you get a, a more steady measurement. Yeah. yeah. So if you, if you, as me, living a place where there's very flat, there's only flat roads. Yeah, I know my pace will be pretty steady and uh, my pulse will be pretty steady. But if I'm running uh, another place where it's, where, where it's very hilly, yes, it's nice to know because I know my 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 watch wouldn't change. You you could you could see that maybe you're running a four thirty on a flat road mm. and you're running five thirty up a hill. Yeah, and five thirty looks maybe easier because it's yeah, it's, slower. it's slower. But the watch might say different. It yeah. might say this is a lot yeah. harder for you. Man. Yes, but this uh, you need to know your uh, zones exactly. to run after watch. Exactly. So so you need to, or you, yeah you can estimate that on the internet. You can get a uh, Measurement from professionals, but also if you're just used to running and you know this, this is what I'm capable of. Mm. Then you just look. Okay, I might be running with uh, 200 watts. Yeah. Then you know, going uphill, 200 watts it is. Yes. That's uh, that's my steady yeah. zone. Or, exactly. Yeah. Nice. The next thing we should dig into is uh, quite new for me. Uh, HRV status. Yes. What is that? It's also something that we've just made an article about. Yeah, um, I would put a link in the description. Our great colleague Max has done a very nice article about what is HRV. Exactly, and uh, it's not showing on my watch right now because no. you have to have it for three weeks to, to get some data. But it it looks, when you sleep, uh, it looks at, at how much your heart rate uh, varies during, mm -hmm. the, during the sleep. And if it varies a lot, mm -hmm. uh, your body is in balance. You're ready. Uh, you're taking in the the signs that your yeah. nervous system is giving to your body. So that means that you're ready for heart training, competition, yeah, okay. stuff like that. Yeah. But if it's low, the HRV, then you might not be ready because then your body is stressed and not in balance. So it's just another widget. It is a widget here on the. Uh on the watch, it is just another feature that helps me to understand my body and to exactly. understand how should it, I train today. It's, it's a health uh, marker yeah, but okay. that you can use for your for your training. Yeah. Another health marker is the sleep score. Yes. And we know the sleep score from other Garmin devices, but what is uh, sleep score? Sleep score looks at how you've been sleeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, uh, it looks and, at. And I guess uh, <laughs> give you a score. Exactly. Okay. Wow. Uh, it looks at how much time you've spent in deep sleep, yeah. in uh, REM sleep, light sleep, how much time you've been yeah. awake, and uh, also not shown on the watch right now because it, it hasn't been used. But you have it on I, your I Phoenix watch. Yes, and it's the same as a. Uh, it's the same. It's it's just uh, it gives you a marker. We see here, Melda slept for seven hours and ten minutes and has a score of seventy-two, which was fair. Yeah, and uh, plenty of deep sleep, and then it comes with uh, an, an evaluation of the the whole night, where you see the different colors is different types of sleep. The the light blue is uh, light sleep, the deep blue is deep sleep, and then yeah. the purple is uh, REM. And then it gives you suggestions on how to improve your sleep. Yeah. Uh, 
And also, if you if you slept poor, it tells you why you slept poor. Yeah. Uh, you exactly. didn't have enough enough deep sleep, and that might uh, uh, res uh, result on your on your creativity. Yeah. You might not be as creative today. No, but apparently you are creative today. So creative, I yeah. So many ideas. Uh, yeah, that is all the new updates on this uh, watch. It it is a Garmin Forerunner 255 Music. Can yes. you show me um, how does the music works? Uh, you have to connect to Spotify or yeah. another. Uh, and have a premium account on Spotify. Exactly. Or Deezer. Or you can actually, if you have some MP3 files yeah. on your computer, you can just put them right on. Yeah. But uh, it works in here. You have. You find music. Yes. And then you have your mu music provider, and you change. You put in your headphones, and yeah, yeah, exactly. It connects. So you, I, if I have Spotify, as you, um, I can take music from download music from Spotify and put it on my watch, and, and leave my phone at home, exactly. and then uh, just run with the all podcasts. All podcasts. You can do anything you like from so Spotify. Nice. Download it, put it on your watch. Yeah. And as, as as I said in the start, a, this is a watch that has so has all the all the need to have, and then it has so much nice to have. Exactly. I think it's just a great great watch for almost every runner. I hope this video has uh, enlightened you on on the new Garmin Forerunner 255. And if you want to dig further further into this watch, Emil has made a great article where you write about all the features and. Yeah, and, and the new watch and what it can do and, and stuff like that. Very great article. And if you Thank want to, you. <laughs> you're welcome. And if, if you want to dig into more inspiration stuff and reviews about products and shoes and uh, training, you can go to our website, runningexpert.com. Until we see you next time, run good.